Okay, hello guys. Today I'm going to show you how to do some adding of records using Visual C Sharp and SQL Server 2005 database. Okay, guys. Let me show you my database for a bit. Here I have my tutorial database and then I have my phone book table. In my phone book table, I have uh, phone number fields and full name fields. And then I have some sample record of here of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 phone number and the full name of a cause then. If you want to see my table properties, you can just go into the design. And then phone number is the primary key with the data type of variable character. In short, bar char with a maximum length of 50. And then full name again as the column name and then data type bar char or variable character of with 50 max length okay let's close this now let's go back into our project here in my project i have already created my sample adding records project and then i already designed my project to here you can just copy paste my design here or you can just copy my design I did not rename the name of the properties of this anymore as you can see text box text box one because it's since it's only a simple project text box two data grid view one and then button one okay once you've done the designing guys you can just double click on the form to so that we can start the coding okay now we are here at the coding First thing we need to do, since we are using or we are using SQL Server 2005, we are going to place our or declare first our import. Okay. To use or declare our import, you can just type here using system that data that SQL client. This is, this is the import that we need to use when we are using SQL Server 2005. This is the system that data that SQL client. Okay. Once you have done there, guys, we're now going to declare our SQL connection. You can just click in the or after the public form one here. You can just type in here SQL connection is equals to or SQL connection con plus a new SQL connection and then open parenthesis so we're going to place the necessary parameters of our SQL connection let's type here data source data source is where our database is located so preferably I'm just going to use the dot then comma and then the port that I already set up my SQL Server 2005 connection so the port I'm going to use is the 1626 Oops and then double backslash sql express as you can see here guys in my data source or preferably the source of my database is or where my database reside is in my local computer so rather than typing the name of the computer or the ip of the computer it makes easier for me to type just that rather than the name of the computer like this one akosidan dash pc you can just type here the dot but if your sql server 2005 is located into another computer you can just copy or type the name of the computer where your sql server 2005 is located um, but your SQL server should be in your same network to do that if you're not on the same no network yeah it it's not impossible okay and then after that at the data source comma or I mean semicolon and then network library so also dbms ssocn As you can see, guys, the network library is DBMS SOCN. This is the network library 
that we need to use when we are connecting SQL Server 2005 using TCP or IP okay and then after that the initial catalog initial catalog is the name of the database my database name is tutorial semicolon then the user ID is equals to a positive password is equals to this one okay in the user ID guys this is my SQL server authentication account so if you have an SQL server 2005 or SQL server authentication account you can just place it in here alright guys now we have done the declaring our SQL connection so what's next to do is the method that we need to display the records into the data grid view so what will be the name of the record since we are going to display the records into the data grid view why not just rename the method into like this you can just type here private void oh, oops, void since we are did or we are not going to return any rec data private void display records okay and then let's declare the data table data is equals to new data table okay and then the SQL data adapter DA SQL data adapter just copy copy paste my code here for a bit guys okay as you can see here guys I already create my data table this will hold the records into or this will be going to be my abstract table for my database table and then SQL data adapter this is the bridge of my SQL Server 2005 database and my program and then some parameters of the SQL data adapter is select asterisk from phone book table which means I'm going to select all the records coming from the phone book table if you want only guys to select the for example the full name only you can just replace the asterisk with full name like that so if you want the phone number can be like that also but for this video I'm going to use the asterisk so in then fill we're just going to fill the records into our data table since our data table is the holder or the it will going to be my abstract table okay and then after that guys we're going to or let's set the data source of our data grid view so that it will display the records coming from our database so since I did not rename my data grid view it name its name will going to be data grid view one that data source is equals to dt that default view okay and then that's it guys we have done in the displaying of records method in this display records method it will display the records into our data grid view so when we start the program it should display the records so we need to place the display records method or call the code of the display records method to the form one underscore load so to call the method just type the name of the method which is display records then like that okay let's check if it's working click on the debugging button then it should display the records so okay as you can see here guys it displayed the records of 1, 3, 4, 5, phone number and a cosidan let's check our database have a database here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and a cosidan okay and it's working now we are done in the uh, displaying the records now we need to do some adding now 
for the adding of records we also need to create a new method let's call the method here as private void add records we're going to use the void since we are, we are not going to return any records okay in here we're going to open our connection the reason we're going to open the connection is we're going to do something inside or we're going to do something into our database like adding of records like uh, what our method should do but if we are only displaying of records we're not going to use the con.open and con.close anymore but if we are adding of records deleting of records editing of records we need to open our connection okay after that let's declare um, again our data table dt is equals to new data table and then you can just copy here copy the code above the method so that it will be easier for us okay and then that's it it will also going to be select asterisk from phone book table also and then fill the table okay now since we're going to add records preferably we're going to add new row for the table right so to do the adding of new row we're going to create a new row data row r is equals to new data oops should not be new should be the data table that new row why data table that new row what is the table that we already fill with our select asterisk from phone book isn't it that it is the data table dt or the variable with the variable name of dt so we're going to create a new row coming from the dt that new row okay and then let's specify the records that we are going to place inside our newly created row so it will going to be the new row and then the column zero column zero which is the as you can see here guys column zero is phone number row column zero and then column one is full name hi right, guys I repeat again column zero is phone number and then column one is full name so inside our code it will going to be the row and then the column zero so it will going to be the phone number and the phone number is text box one the text oops that should be text box one text okay and then I got now then the row and then the column one which is going to be the text box two that will hold the records hi right, guys now we have done specifying the records that we need to add into the row now our newly created row is going to or we're going to place the newly created row into our data table now so to do that let's type here dt that rows that add inside the add it should be r and uh, okay since r is the new row of the our dt okay and then once you've done that guys you're going to declare our sql command builder sql command builder is a uh, necessary variable we need to use when we are using our or when we are using this kind of method of adding up records the data table the SQL data adapter and by the way guys SQL data or SQL command builder will not work if you don't have a primary key so you should always have a primary key in your table as much as possible so to do that 
let's declare now SQL command builder CB is equal to SQL command builder okay and then the update command let's type here DA that update this is the code that will save the records but this code will not work if we don't have the SQL command builder so should always be in pair always and then since we open our connection we should always close the connection like when we are done using something like we should always or we should always keep it then type here close the reason we are going to close and open the connection is we are going to prevent some SQL connection pooling it's like if you have too much SQL or too much connection to our SQL server it might have a uh, trouble okay now we have done the private void add records method since the private void add records method job is to add records into our data grid or database it should be placed inside the add command button so let's double click on the add command button and then here inside this button one underscore click it should add the record so to add the records we're going to call the method that will add the records this is the job of the add records method so let's call it the add records okay now we already have the code that will add records inside our button one underscore click which is the add command button but if I add my or I click the button in here it will add the records but it will not refresh the data grid view right it will just add the record but it will not refresh the data grid view so in order for us to refresh the data grid view we're going to call the method that display records again into the data grid view since we already have or we already created a method that will create the display records we're just going to call the method that will display the records so let's type here display records Oh okay, yes, you can see here guys the add records job is to add the records and then the display record job is to display the records it's like a self-explanatory name of the method okay let's check or test our program with it's working and just start debugging then we have here our existing records 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in a Hosidan. So we're going to add some new phone number. Let's type here 6789, then 10. At the full name, let's click here done. And then once I have clicked this add button, it should be placed in here to display the records that I add. So let's check okay guys it add the records the six seven eight nine zero and then full name done let's check our database okay guys as you can see it add the records the six seven eight nine ten and then done so once again guys if you think the videos are helpful for you, you can just subscribe to my channel and then subscribing would be so much appreciated. And thanks again for watching guys and have a nice day.